Hi, Steve, and uh, thank you for um, accepting to take this call and uh, be in the presence of the Dynamics User Group Kenya. This is our first meetup that we have uh, organized so that we can at least get together and see how it will uh, go from there. And uh, it will be a physical meetup to start with, just a small group to build uh, the blocks. We want to make sure that at least people can meet and engage. And then from that team, we can have maybe a few leaders who can be able now to take it to the next level and see how we can be able to now do the both hybrid that is physical and remote. So to begin with, we want to have uh, this physical meetup. And uh, I invited my friend Steve, Microsoft MVP, and he gladly accepted on a very short notice. So I really appreciate your sacrifice to be here with us and make this recording for the Kenyan team of Dynamics User Group. Well, thank you very much for the invite and and thank you especially for reaching out to me and contacting me a few months ago, um, you know, about uh, uh, your blog and your videos and your participation in the Dynamics Business Central community. And coincidentally, the week before you contacted me, uh, the Dynamics user group uh, asked about starting meetups in other continents outside of the U.S. and Europe. So it was perfect timing. Oh. And uh, I thank you very much for volunteering to host the meetup, help organize. And I'm happy to help in any way I can. Uh, sure, sure, sure. That's really great. I, I'm really happy with what Dynamics user group is doing to enable people to meet together, discuss the challenges, challenge each other and skill up the most important thing to help people skill up in uh, the different technologies of dynamics that they're using. I, I will allow you maybe to mention your profile, like who you are and what you do, basically because there are people who will be meeting you for the first time today. <laughs> they have never they have never seen Steve Endo. I, I believe I'm mentioning the name correctly. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. <laughs> OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I uh, I currently live in Los Angeles, California. Um, you know, the typical kind of palm trees and sunshine in the beach. So uh, not a bad place to live. Um, I, uh, I, I kind of got started in the ERP world through um, in college. I had a degree in economics and accounting, uh, kind of a random choice. Uh, long story of that. But I ended up working for Deloitte and Touche which uh, back in the day was one of the big six accounting firms. Now they're down to big four. And I ended up doing uh, accounting and ERP software then, and I've done it ever since. From Solomon 4 back in the day to PeopleSoft, Dynamics GP, and now uh, Business Central SaaS is my focus. I never worked with NAV. And um, yeah, I've been learning Business Central SaaS for the last, gosh, three plus years very slowly it's it's actually been a surprisingly challenging journey for me coming from the dynamics gp world there is so much to learn mm -hmm. everything is different everything is new for me so uh so much to learn over the years and um yeah so now i am uh, fully invested in uh, dynamics 365 business central online or SaaS as it's called and I think it's a great product. And uh, yeah, we've, as you know, there's a there's a great community on Twitter, online, uh, at the conferences. Uh, so um, happy to uh, connect with you and expand the reach of the user group and and the community to support users throughout the world. For the people who maybe don't understand the concept of MVP, maybe what it means, could you kindly explain maybe what is a Microsoft MVP? And then how did you attain the MVP? How was the journey for you? How was that journey for you? Sure. Um, so the Microsoft MVP award is given to people in, in the Microsoft community who contribute um, what we would call community contributions. And so these are unpaid contributions, whether it's spending a lot of time in the uh, community forums, answering questions, writing blogs, making videos, speaking at conferences, writing books. There are all sorts of ways that 
MVPs contribute uh, to the community overall to try and help users uh, to help promote Microsoft products. Uh, some people help the Microsoft team, you know, track down bugs and and they fix a, something on GitHub, for instance. So all sorts of ways that MVPs contribute. In my case, I, I responded to a lot of forum posts and started writing blogs. Um, gosh, I, I don't even remember 2013 or 2012, something like that. And um, after a couple years, uh, someone nominated me. And back then things were a little different. I don't even know who nominated me. And I received the award out of the blue. I didn't know I'd been nominated. I didn't know I'd received the award. I just got an email suddenly. Um, things are a little more formal nowadays. So um, that's less common. But uh, yeah, I, I, I was yeah. aware of it. I, I had talked with I, friends about it, but I wasn't actually trying to get it. I was just writing blogs, uh, making some videos, presenting at conferences, and I was actually having a great time just doing all those things. So the MVP award was, um, you know, a, a nice uh, thank you and a nice recognition. And um, what uh, I think the MVP award helps you do is it helps open conversations. And so you get to talk to other MVPs, you get invited to conversations like this, and it's really a fantastic way to interact with the community and stay in touch with people. Oh, that's amazing. I believe now Kenya is the next challenge. I think we should get one MVP from Kenya. I don't that know if you have fantastic. one. Right? That would be fantastic. <laughs> I think I'll challenge our team that this is our challenge now. We need to get one in the next few years we need an mvp a kenyan mvp so this is now to new people who have maybe never used uh, business central or microsoft 365 products or uh, the power platform and they are just hearing about it maybe they have just used office 365 that is for the word excel and uh, they are they are interested in maybe uh, using the products more they want to know about Microsoft 365 and the Power Platform. Uh, let's start starting with Microsoft 365. What will you tell people about uh, what is Microsoft 365 and what is it trying to solve? And uh, if someone wants to maybe venture into one of those, what path should they should they follow? Yeah, that is actually. I think that is actually a very difficult question. Um, and uh, to be honest, I think it's in part because Microsoft has rebranded the Microsoft 365, Microsoft Dynamics product line a few times. And um, I, I find it actually kind of challenging to understand what the entire product line is because it is not just one product. It's uh, over a dozen different products that they've branded under the Dynamics 365 brand umbrella. You have CRM, you have service, you have sales, you have support, right? Um, you have finance and operations, the, the more expensive enterprise ERP product with slightly different focus. And so I, I can't really speak to the entire product category because it is so vast. So uh, that's one lesson. Um, when you go to the Microsoft Dynamics 365 product page and you look at all the actual names of the products, those are full products. And so you could spend your entire career on just one of those products. So the challenge will probably be for people who are new to Dynamics 365 is understanding all the options they have available and I would kind of recommend maybe choosing one or two, because if you try to tackle the whole thing, that's 40 years of learning, literally. And so for in my case, I chose Dynamics 365 Business Central, and that is just one product kind of buried at the bottom of the list under the Dynamics 365 umbrella. And so I'd say challenge one is choosing which product you wanna learn about and uh, perhaps focus on. And then from there, reaching out to the community, checking on blogs and Twitter and forum posts and documentation and learning about that product. And that could be the CRM suite, sales and support and service. There are people who focus exclusively on that. And then there's Power Platform, like you mentioned, Power Automate, Power Apps, 
I mean, that alone is just an entire world of learning and technology. It's true. Yeah, the, the range of products is quite overwhelming. It's good. And uh, I like the point that you have said about trying to narrow down a niche or a product that you specialize on because just a product can make a career, just one of the yes. products. As we wind up, uh, probably I'd like to ask uh, what advice would you give to the Dynamics 365 Kenyan team <laughs> or what? what's your message to them? <laughs> I think this is a great community and uh you know whether you're in united states or europe or kenya or or somewhere else i think uh reach out to the community participate in the community um, in the case of business central we have a great twitter community so we're all online at all hours as the globe rotates so you can post a question and get a response from someone across the world in 15 minutes. Um, they're great blog posts, great videos, great training documentation. All the resources for Business Central, at least, are free. You can do everything you need. As long as you have a computer and an internet connection, you can get started for free. There's online training, tons of videos and blog posts of people contributing for free. So I say jump in, find a product that you're interested in, and you can learn from scratch. Or if you're familiar with the product, you can level up your knowledge or skill up your pro your knowledge, as Doug likes to say, right? And so jump in, participate, yeah. reach out, and we'd be happy to help. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank you for that. Where can we reach you? How can we get to you? So for the people who would like to get to you directly, maybe via Twitter, via your blog, they all they would like to see your videos. Uh, sure. You give us um, the handle. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm very active on Twitter. So I'm just Steve Endo, one word on Twitter. And I've actually created a list of all of my links to my blog, videos, everything. And that's links.steveendo.com. So you just go to that page and I've listed everything out, how to reach me and um, all, all the resources I've posted. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you for uh, accepting to grace our occasion and unless you have any question i believe uh, that's it for me thank yeah. you for the invite to to speak to everyone here and thank you very much for organizing the the kenya user group and, and meetup meeting i think it's fantastic that you know we can reach out literally across the globe and interact with yeah. each other and thank you for bringing people together in person and virtually in your geography to to let people know that there are resources available and that they are welcome to participate and interact with all of us thank you very much